Hello, my name is Maeve Coleman and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Maxim Integrated. Today, I'm going to talk about how to measure temperature using an RTD and the MAX 31865 RTD to digital converter. First of all, an RTD is a res resistance temperature detector. In other words, it's a resistor made from metal whose resistance varies greatly with temperature. We then use this property to measure temperature. RTDs are particularly popular in industrial applications. This is due to their wide operating range, high accuracy and excellent repeatability. Platinum is the most common material used in RTDs. This is also due to its high accuracy, wide operating range and consistency across linearity and repeatability. RTDs are specified based upon their resistance at zero degrees. So for example, this is a PT1000. That means it's an RTD made out of platinum whose resistance is 1000 ohms at zero degrees Celsius. So you may have heard that RTDs come in two, three or four wire configurations. And why is this? Well, basically, an RTD needs some way of communicating with the measuring device. And this is usually done through insulated copper wires. Unfortunately, the copper wires, of course, have some resistance, and this affects the measurement accuracy. Two-wire RTDs have no means of cancelling out this wire resistance, and therefore are least accurate of the three types. In three-wire RTDs, a third wire connects to the RTD probe carrying the excitation current. Provided the three wires are of equal length, this allows for the device to cancel the effect of wire resistance. The four wire configuration is most accurate. Sense and force leads eliminate the effect of a wire resistance, meaning you don't have to worry about the wire length. One last topic I'd like to cover before doing our demo is the calendar Van Dusen equation. This equation describes the correlation between temperature and resistance of the RTD. We can see here the curve for a PT100 is relatively linear, but does have some curvature. By combining the above equations with the calendar Van Dusen constants, we get our most accurate temperature readings for a platinum RTD. Those constants depend on the specific alloy for which the RTD is made. So that brings us to the MAX31865. This device is an RTD to digital converter. Ultimately, that means it reads the resistance of the RTD and then we can convert it into temperature data. Primarily, the MAX31865 is made up of an ADC fall protection circuitry and SBI communication circuitry. To measure the RTD's resistance, we connect a reference resistor in series with the RTD. Here, at ref in plus and minus and RTD in plus and minus respectively. We then apply the bias voltage to the top of the reference resistor and the same current flows through both the reference resistor and the RTD. The voltage across the reference resistor is then used as the reference voltage for the ADC. While the voltage across the RTD is applied to the RTD's differential inputs. The ADC then produces an output equal to the ratio of the RTD resistance to the reference resistance. It's quite simple really. Now I hope you're still with me. The MAX31865 is compatible with two, three or four wire configurations and the EV kit provides everything you need to evaluate the device. You just put your RTD in here at RTD in plus and RTD in minus. And you use the USB wire provided to connect it to your PC. The GUI then performs the linearization calculations and displays the real-time temperature being measured by the RTD. You can also read here if the device is experiencing any faults, for example, an open circuit. The EV kit out of the box is optimized for a PT1000, but say you wanted to use a different RTD, for example, a PT100 like I have here. All you need to do is change the reference resistor at R3.
So a reference resistor equal to four times the RTD zero ohm resistance is optimum for a platinum RTD. So for a PT1000, we use a four kilo ohm reference resistor, but for a PT100, we need a 400 ohm resistor. Now we just change the values in the setup box up here. And the chip and software does the rest. If you want, you can also see the data in graph form in the graphing data tab. So that's all for now. Today you've got a brief introduction to how RTDs are used for temperature sensing and how we can use the MAX31865 in order to do so. For more information, see the MAX31865 product page. Thank you for watching.